हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एग्जांपल 9.1 चैप्टर नंबर 9 गैस टरबाइन साइकिल्स फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाई थर्मोडायनामिक्स बाय टीडी स्टाफ एंड मिकॉल की द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द शॉर्ट एग्जांपल इज अ गैस टरबाइन यूनिट हैज अ प्रेशर रेशियो ऑफ 10 बाय 1 and a maximum cycle temperature of 700 degree centigrade the isentropic efficiencies of the compressor and turbine are 0.82 and 0.85 respectively calculate the power output of an electric generator geared to the turbine when the air enters the compressor at 15 degree c at the rate of 15 kg per second टेक सी पी इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव किलो जोल पर किलोग्राम पर किलो वन एंड गेमा इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फोर फॉर द कंप्रेशन प्रोसेस एंड टेक सी पी इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट वन वन किलो जोल पर किलोग्राम पर किलो वन एंड गेमा इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट थ्री 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 फॉर एक्सपेंशन प्रोसेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल राइट द गिवन डेटा in parallel if we look to the schematic of this gas turbine unit so this is the compressor this is the combustion chamber and this is the turbine so air enters to the compressor at temperature 15 degree centigrade so we can say that temperature t1 is 15 degree centigrade and converting it to kelvin it will become 288 kelvin similarly it exits having temperature t2 so t2 is unknown here and when it exits from the combustion chamber its temperature rises and it goes to 0.3 so T3 is the highest temperature in the cycle and it is 700 degree centigrade so it will become 973 kelvin also isentropic efficiency of the compressor is 0.82 and the isentropic efficiency of the turbine is 0. 85 also mass flow rate is 15 kg per second and cp is cp is basically is the specific heat capacity at constant pressure and its value is 1.005 किलो जाउल पर किलोग्राम पर किलोवन एंड गेमा इज 1.4 एंड दिस इज फॉर कंप्रेशन प्रोसेस एंड फॉर एक्सपेंशन प्रोसेस द वैल्यू ऑफ सीपी इज 1.11 किलो जाउल पर किलोग्राम पर किलोवन एंड the value of gamma for expansion process is 1.333 so we are required to find the power output so required thing is the power output simply we will represent it with p subscript o coming to the solution of this problem we see that this is actually this gas turbine unit is working on breton cycle which is the operating cycle for 
most of the gas turbine units. So there are three processes involved in the cycle from 1 to 2 is the compression and we can say this is the work input to the compressor. 2 to 3 is the basically the heat addition process at constant pressure and 3 to 4 is the expansion process. Also it is known over here that the pressure ratio across the compressor and turbine is same and it is P2 by P1 is equal to if we take this point as P3 and this is P4 suppose so it will become P3 by P4 and the ratio is same that is 10 by 1 given in this problem. So now we will use these expression for the solution of this example. This expression T2S by T1 is equal to P2 by P1 power gamma minus 1 by gamma is derived for isentropic process or diabetic process in the text chapter number 3. Similarly, the compressor isentropic efficiency expression is T2S minus T1 over T2 minus T1 where T2 is is the temperature associated with the isentropic process. T1 is the inlet temperature to the compressor and T2 is the actual temperature after compression. Similarly at com uh, turbine side we have this relationship for temperature ratios and pressure ratios. T3 by T4 is, is equal to P2 by P1. Actually P2 is equal to P3. That's why we can use P2 instead of P3. Also P1 is same to P4. So we can say that instead of writing P4 we write P1. Because looking to the TS diagram this is a temperature entropy diagram. We have lines two lines which are which are diverging while going from left to right these are actually constant pressure lines so pressure p2 is equal to pressure p3 and also pressure at point 1 is equal to pressure at point 4 so also the turbine isentropic efficiency is given T3 minus T4 divided by T3 minus T4S where T4 is the actual exit temperature and T4S is the isentropic temperature after expansion. Similarly, compressor work input is equal to Cp into T2 minus T1. These expressions are derived for each component which is compressor, turbine from the application of steady flow equation and the, this is the final shape of the compressor work input in terms of temperature Cp into T2 minus T1. Similarly, turbine work is equal to Cp into T3 minus T4. Also, another expression that is the network that is the difference of turbine work minus compressor work. This expression is turbine work and this expression is for compressor work. So if we take the difference of these two works we will get the network and then simply power output that is P0 it is calculated from this network output into mass flow rate. So if we simply multiply the mass flow rate with the network developed or network output, we will get the power output which is required in this problem. So for finding the network, we will need 
some temperature values which are missing in the data. For that, starting the solution of this problem, we will use this expression T2S by T1 is equal to P2 by P1 power gamma minus 1 by gamma first. So using this expression and rearranging it, we can write the value of T2. I am directly putting the values in that expression. T2S is equal to 2 double 8 into pressure ratio P2 by P1 is 10 power gamma value is 1.4 for compression side so 1.4 minus 1 divided by 1.4 so simplifying this the value of T2 is is 5 5 6 kilo 1 similarly for finding the value of temperature T2 which is the actual temperature after compression for that we will use the isentropic efficiency expression here in this expression we know the value of T1 and T2s only T2 is missing the isentropic efficiency of the compressor is also given in this problem which is 0 0.82 so writing it and rearranging it for T2s the, we can write that T2 is equal to T2 minus 2 double 8 is equal to 2 6 8 or 0 0.82 and it is equal to 3 2 6 point 8 Kelvin also to write the value of T2 again rearranging this T2 it becomes equal to 2 double 8 plus 3 to 6 point 8 Kelvin so the value of T2 comes out 614.8 Kelvin. Similarly, to find other missing temperatures like T4S, for that again using this expression T3 by T4S is equal to P2 by P1 power gamma minus 1 by gamma. So, in this expression, we have T4 is and the value of T4 is, is unknown. So, we will find it first. T3 is given, pressure ratio is given, gamma value is given. So, to find the value of T4 is again, I am directly writing it and rearranging it for T4 is that expression. So, T4 is, is equal to 973 which is the highest temperature in the cycle divided by 10 power. Gamma value for expansion size is 1.333 minus 1 over 1.333. So simplifying this, the value of T4 is, is equal to 547.4 kilowatt. Also to find the value of T4 that is the actual temperature after exiting of the turbine. So using this expression, the isentropic efficiency for the turbine, in this expression we need, we need to find the value of T4 because other temperatures are known. So directly using that expression, we can write that T4 973 minus T4 is equal to 425.6 into isentropic efficiency of the turbine is 0 0.85. It will become equal to 3.361 
पॉइंट एट किल वन सो रीअरेंजिंग इट फॉर टी फोर टी फोर इज इक्वल टू नाइन सेवन थ्री माइनस थ्री सिक्स वन पॉइंट एट सो इट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स वन वन पॉइंट टू किल वन now all temperatures are known to us we can now find the compressor work input so compressor work is equal to cp into t2 minus t1 so t2 is known t1 is known and the value of cp is also given in this problem for the compression side it is 1.005 kJ per kg per kg1 so putting the values cp is 1.005 kJ per kg per kg1 into t2 minus t1 the difference is 326.8 kg1 so compressor work is equal to 328.4 kJ per kg now to find the value of turbine work output that is wt it is equal to cp t3 minus t4 so putting the values for expansion side we have the value of cp equal to 1.11 kJ per kg per kg1 and the difference of t3 and t4 is 361.8 kg1 so simplifying this we get 401.6 kJ per kg now to find the network output we have written the expression for that this is the simply the difference of turbine work and compressor work so network is equal to turbine work output minus compressor work input the values are 401.6 minus 328.4 so network output is equal to 73.2 kJ per kg now to find the power output p not it is equal to mass flow rate into network output mass flow rate is given that is 15 kg per second into network output is 73.2 kJ per kg so the value of work output comes out p not is equal to 1098 kilowatt so this is the required uh, value of power output for example 9.1 and this is the overall solution of from example 9.1 Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos. Also subscribe my channel to get new videos.